Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Everyday Faith, day 31. As we, uh, as we wrap up the month on the theme or journey of loneliness. And today is going to be deep. Um, not because I intended it to be. Not because I woke up this morning and said, I'm going to be deep. Uh, but because when I read this, it was heavy to me. Um, again, I don't want to repeat myself every time I come on here, but there's new people each month. So tomorrow will not, will, uh, will mark three months since we lost my wife. My kids lost their children to uh, battle with breast cancer. Um, and so we're 90 days or so in. And the loneliness theme has hit home this month. And this quote by Donald Miller, whom I love, um, is hard to grasp for me. And it says, pain and loneliness are a gift from God to help us appreciate what eventually will be given to us when he blesses us. So pain and loneliness are a gift from God to help us appreciate what eventually will be given to us when he blesses us. And when you're in the midst of pain and when you're in the midst of loneliness, it's hard to find the blessing at times. Um, I'm going to put that aside for a second and talk about a different devotional that I have that I go through each morning by Paul David Tripp called New Morning Mercies. And um, on March 31st, which was 31 days after Rachel passed away, um, I, I, I read this devotional and it really made sense of, um, of everything that we had gone through. To, it took it to a whole new level. I'm not going to read all of it, but I do want to read some of it. It says, at the center of our biblical worldview and his radical recognition, the most horrible thing that ever happened was the most wonderful thing that ever happened. Consider the cross of Jesus Christ. Could it be possible for something to happen that was more terrible than this? Could any injustice be greater? Could any loss be more painful? Could any suffering be worse? The only man who ever lived a life that was perfect in every way possible, who gave his life for the sake of many, and who willingly suffered from birth to death in loyalty to his calling was cruelly and publicly murdered in the most vicious ways. How could this happen to the Son of Man? How could he die? How could it be that men could capture and torture the Messiah? Was this not the end of everything good, true, and beautiful? If this could happen, is there any hope for the world? And if you continue it reads that, well, yes, the answer is yes, there is hope. The cross was not the end of the story. In God's righteous and wise plan, the dark and disastrous moment was ordained to be the moment that would fix all the dark and disastrous things that sin had done to the world. The moment of death was at the same time the moment of life. This hopeless moment was the moment when eternal hope was given. This terrible moment of injustice was at the same time a moment of amazing grace. The moment of extreme suffering guaranteed that suffering would end one day, once and for all. This moment of sadness welcomed us to an eternal joy of heart and life. The capture and death of Christ purchased for us life and freedom. The very worst thing that could happen was at the same time the very best thing that could ever happen. Only God is able to do it, such a thing. So, I can, this again, I can continue reading this, but... I don't want to bore you with that, um, but the takeaway is to be careful how we view our life. Be careful how we make sense of our life. Uh, what looks like a disaster, what looks like the worst thing that can ever happen, may in fact be grace. Um, what looks like the end may in fact be the beginning. What looks like something uh, may be completely hopeless may be an instrument that God's using to actually give you lasting hope. The last sentence of this says, Your father is committed to taking what seems so bad and turning it into something that's so very, very good. Um, it's hard to bring that back to, to Rachel's passing because it's, it's hard to say that it's so very, very good. But I know every day there's, there's things that come up and little blessings, little blessings in the brokenness. And um, I could share those over and over and over again with you guys. But again, uh, that's not what today's about. Um, but there is so much beauty during the brokenness and for sure on the other side of the brokenness. 
Does it make it easier at the time? No. Uh, does it does it even make it easier right after? No. Um, but I'm I'm sitting here telling you that um, that I see um, God's grace through all this, through the loneliest chapter of my life. Um, in days, some days it's just so dang hard. Some days I, I, I don't understand why and I question. Um, but our Father is committed to taking what seems so bad and turning it into something that's so very good. It does not make sense. It looks like disaster. It looks like the end. It looks hopeless. But it's God's instrument to give us real and lasting hope. Sorry I was long today, guys, uh, but this one this one hit me deep. Uh, I appreciate y'all. I'm so thankful for y'all. Uh, I'm looking forward to next month's theme and journey. I know some boxes will start arriving here uh, pretty quickly as we jump into a new month and a new theme. Thank you for, for being on this, uh, this journey with us this month. Um, hopefully we grew through uh, the theme and journey of loneliness. Guys, be blessed. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.